So how is it going, Dank Division? Dank Dan here, and I'm sure you've seen plenty of videos here, there, and everywhere talking about everything from the superhero abilities that are in Warzone to the new map that's in multiplayer to everything else in between. My goal isn't here to sit here and give you a review. My goal here is to help you guys out as best as I can to make sense of the new diabolical camo challenges. Make them somewhat easier for you throw out a couple ideas out there and while some of you watching this video already might already have the right idea and be going into it knowing exactly how to go about this for some of you I might throw out a few ideas you're not even thinking of so we're gonna go straight down the list from left to right all the way through starting of course with the ARs the first challenge of course you can get 50 operator headshots using assault rifles now that's not too bad all you really need to do is just load up a mode where it's all close range and I would recommend taking something like a, the Camaro or the AK-74U go on a shipment 24-7 and you could crank out those 50 headshots, especially if it's something like Domination. That is going to be relatively easy. One of the trickier ones that already is going to be the problem is getting the 25 operator kills from behind because I still question what is their definition of behind. Is it exactly 180 degrees from the line of sight straight forward for your opponent? Or can it be slightly off by a degree or two? That's something worth questioning. For that, you may need to play a mode that allows you to get into the enemy spawn. So this might mean playing shipment and just knowing how to get behind people. Or it might mean playing a slightly larger scale map and rotating around. Next, the marksman rifles. 30 operator kills while mounted using these weapons. Now I want you to keep this in mind, mounted kills. I'm gonna give you three ways you can go about this. Doesn't matter what mode you're playing, doesn't matter how you go about this. You're gonna wanna load in with the portable cover. So you can place that down anywhere you want and now you have something to mount on. You're also gonna wanna take your weapon and let's say you decide to play the long range game and hit people from a distance. Put a bipod on your weapon, lay flat, and congratulations, now you're mounted when laying prone. Let that sink in. That then gives you the option to now you can use actual cover for getting the mounted kills. You can also use the portable cover for the mounted kills. And you can use laying prone for the mounted kills. Then of course you have the 40 operator kills using launchers. Pick any objective based mode. If shipment 24-7 happens to be in the cards as well as shoot house, load in with an RPG aim at the point, pull the freaking trigger, watch everyone get mowed down. Speaking of getting mowed down, then you have the 30 operator kills while using a suppressor on LMGs. This one can go any way you would like. You could play something like Ground War and go for the longer range fights and pray that there aren't snipers around. You could take something like the RPK or the HCR and throw on a 30 round mag, go onto a smaller map and wait and just mow down people that way. Now these next two, I want you to keep in mind how I word this. Get 30 enemy kills while using melee weapons. This means enemy kills also include AI, so you could get this playing that one mode in multiplayer. Or you could pop in a DMZ, get a combat knife out, and do a little stabby stabby, kill 30 people, exfil out. And the same thing goes for the handguns. Because in regards to the handguns, you actually have it that it's, you know, get, oh, I don't know, about 50 enemy long shot kills using pistols. Keep in mind that a long shot on a pistol must be 20 meters. So by all means, ping the enemy so you can see if you're that right distance and then just aim for the head on the AI. So you get a one shot kill, you throw it, oh, I don't know, a couple of times and then you can exfil and you can keep right on chipping away with these challenges. Now the next one, isn't too bad oh wait i lied it's gonna be a bitch 30 operator kills while prone using shotguns yeah that's right you have to lay flat on the ground my recommendation if you have a sh close quarters map whether this be shipment or shoot house i would load right onto there hell if you know what you're doing you can also combine this with the new weapon challenges for the mx guardian in which case i mean you need to get one shot operator kills with the shotguns, headshots with the shotgun, hip fires kills with the shotgun, as well as ADS kills with the shotgun. So if you're laying prone, odds are you're going to get some of those done. 
Then you have the time consuming one. 250 operator kills while using SMGs. This this one I would just save for last. Why? Because you can just get this one done over the course of time. You can get these kills playing just your average resurgence maps. You can get this just playing multiplayer matches. Then of course you have the last one is snipers. Get three operator kills without dying ten times using snipers now if you are really good with snipers you could pretty much make a hip fire build and just mow people down but if you're like me and you play snipers as if it's real life my recommendation and this is what i did the last time with uh, the weapon challenges for snipers load into ground war you want a spotter scope and you want to build a sniper rifle that can pretty much one shot anything you are going to sit in the back of the map with the spotter scope and you're going to mark a target and then you're going to aim down the site and you're going to hit the person. And you'll be able to pretty much get those 30 kills with ease. So with that being said, that is all of those challenges. That means that lines you up for getting all the kills, all 565 of them. Now, granted, you still have time. you got plenty of time to kind of kick this off. Because the season is still very much going on. You have 20 days to get those kills. Hell, if you want to do the math, that is roughly 30 kills per day doing these challenges. Some of them being easy, some of them being a little bit more nutty. But in the comment section down below, I want to hear your thoughts on the camo. Do you think that this one is worth it or do you think this one is kind of mid? So with that being said, I'm looking forward to reading that comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed watching this video... Don't forget to drop a like as well as leave a comment down below with your thoughts on where this season's going so far. And all of you guys out there, you guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever you're doing. Do it wholeheartedly. And this is Dank Dan, signing off. Get them to click that subscribe button, Dank. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. What did the numbers mean, Dank? We're wasting valuable time.